Hi from Teacher Melissa and I've got a little tidbit that might help you on that pesky look versus see. Um, I come across this in level three, which I do teach. I, all, I remember it being also in level two. So maybe you're coming across this in your level two classes also. So I'm going to show you a level three slide that it's toward the beginning of level three. So it introduces look and see. And these are so, I mean, you do look and you do see with your TPR. So it's a little difficult concept. So here's what I focus on. As you can see in this slide, I have circled the word at. Look always needs another word. It needs at or for. I can see Mike, but I must look at Mike or I must look for Mike. But if Mike is right there, there's no other word. It's see. So I just point out here on this slide that look needs at. And I did it on the first one. And then on the one lower, I circled it again and the student immediately got it. So I just pointed out that I need something between look and the, or something between look and the other word. And in this case, it was at. Now, as I move on with this student and we get further on, I can explain later that I can also say look for. But we do not see for or see at. Nothing else with C. So just pointing out that look needs another word instead of trying to explain the honestly very abstract concept of the difference between C and look. I just focus on what the word needs to be that goes with it and focus on that. And the understanding can come from that as they become more familiar with the language. Hope this helps. Give it a thumbs up because I love those. I love a little applause just like our students. And please consider subscribing so that you're notified as soon as a new video comes out. Have a great day, folks.